All right, welcome back everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. I think at this point, we all know that TikTok is insane. Some of the people on there, they've just got a few screws loose, okay, to say the least. Now, as a person who doesn't really use TikTok that much, it's kind of hard to spot the crazy until it goes extremely, extremely viral, right? They show up on your Twitter feed, your YouTube feed, your mom sends you a TikTok on WhatsApp, and you're just like, okay, end me. But I feel like there's so much insanity on the app that just goes un notice, right? The, these haven't really been seen by regular eyes, except by this one guy, and he's decided to document them. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at insane people TikTok. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to smash like, subscribe, and let's begin. Okay, starting off with our first post here, just uh, a peak Gen Z post. One of my classmates called me a vamp phobic slur today, so I bit her hand. Turns out her parents are lawyers and they might sue me because she contracted tetanus. Sure she did. I'm so effing sick of mortals. Okay, there's so much wrong with this TikTok. I don't even know where to start. Let's start off with the vamp phobic thing because I think you've skipped a few steps. First off, you're a vampire. And then, and, and then there's a slur for vampires, apparently. I, I did not know that existed. In fact, I did not know that vampires existed, but thank you for enlightening me. But aren't vampires, like, really evil and, you know, they, they kill humans and stuff? So I think it technically would be acceptable to be racist towards vampires because they're trying to kill you, right? I don't know, bro. I don't think the human race can live in harmony with vampires. And may I know the name of this vamp-phobic slur? You, call, you got called a vampy or something? A vampy? I would bite someone's hand, too, if they call me a vampy dude. Also, how did she contract tetanus? I I'm not too familiar with the thing, but uh, isn't it like from, you know, getting cut on like a door or something like metal? I, I don't know if you get it from someone biting you. I'm pretty sure it's like old rusty metal or something, right? But yeah, I can totally relate mortals, am I right? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Here we have a girl chilling, you know, sipping on some beverage saying, caught my ex cheating on me by finding emails of him messaging men on Craigslist to suck their meat and when he was caught, he pretended to be a demon named Bathim, uh, Batim, and strangled me to get out of it. What the actual f am I reading? Okay, let's break this down step by step. So you caught your boyfriend cheating, uh, cause he was a gay and wanted to suck some meat. And then when you confronted him about this, he pretended to be a demon and strangled you so uh that that's that's kind of abuse or something or physical violence i i don't know i probably wouldn't be telling tiktok or he might strangle you again i'd probably call 911 and another thing i don't get why are you so chill with this like your boyfriend pretends to be a demon yeah let me sip on my beverage it's ice cold here we have a tiktok and this person says discharge reveal I, I don't know what type of discharge you're talking. I, I, I'm hoping it's the Pokemon electricity move and nothing else. Would you eat this adorable pig for a hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> what? Bro, for a hundred K, that shit's so dead. I'm sorry, you put a hundred K in front of me. Don't lie, you do it. You do it. Don't lie to me. Why does this clown look so attractive, especially the smile at the end? What? What smile? There's no smile on him. I want this clown to step on me with his giant stinky feet and choke me to death with it. I swear to god girls on TikTok are just a different breed. What do you mean he's attractive, dude? You've got a clown fetish. You legitimately have a clown fetish. Go get yourself checked. I know you're not supposed to shame people, but I'm shaming you. God damn it. Especially if you want him to choke you to death with it. Dude, what? Did you ever experience secondhand racism because people thought you were Asian because of your eye shape. I am actually dumbfounded. I, I don't even know how to react to this. Secondhand racism, that's a new one, Jesus Christ. Me at my girl's funeral trying to see if she still got that super soaker whap before we bury her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the ideal boyfriend. Get you a boyfriend who goes to your funeral after you die and tries to frick your dead body. I mean, if that ain't loyal, I don't know what is. Is she okay? Is she sick or something? I feel bad. She's terminally ill. She will never be okay until she sees heaven. I love how the person saying this is named Fidget Gooey Girl. It's like the most innocent name ever and next thing you know, they're biting you because they're vampires. POC or person of color or get mad when they are called slurs, but we'll never know what it feels like to be an alt. We get called emo and social rejects all the time just because we like 
demonias and bunny hats. What in God's name is an alt? Does that mean you're from like an alternate reality or something where your brain cells don't exist? Also, what the heck is a demonia? Is that is that a demon? I don't think there's a race that likes bunny hats. I don't I don't think that exists. What's with these freaking morons, dude? Jesus Christ. Okay, we got yet another visit from the Minecraft community. You can see the profile picture is like. I don't know, is that Dream and George making out? Some two Minecrafters making out. And then they say, please, why does Wilbur grooming Tommy make me so turned on? Exposing myself, hashtag Minecraft YouTube, hashtag Tommy in it, hashtag Dream. I don't know which definition of grooming you're using here, but I, I feel like either of them is probably bad. One's definitely worse, but I don't think this should turn you on. If you made fun of Dream Song, you're ableist. If you are on TikTok, you have a 15% chance of being brain dead. People are to criticize a song get over it you little pussy me explaining to my live stream how i'm actually an alien stuck on earth you know what i'm not even gonna try to fight it take take him away aliens take him away y'all they added dream smp emojis this is my favorite because it represents dream not found Stan Apple for adding Dream SMP flags. Dream SMP was the second pandemic, bro. Nobody realized because it was online, but Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Jesus. If you ignore me three times on Earth, I will ignore you in heaven. If you are not ashamed of me, repost and I will do a miracle tonight. Please don't ignore me. And uh, it's a George not found Stan. I mean, I guess I didn't ignore you. I put you in a YouTube video. There's your two seconds of fame. Just found out the period cramps hurt as bad as heart attacks. Sorry, I tried to hide my veins. Thank you, Heaven Fairy Demon Dragon 69. <laughs> this is such an internet name, dude. Holy shit. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think a heart attack will hurt a wee bit more. Also, I don't really think you have veins. I think you're an alien creature sent to Earth to destroy us all. Alert, alert, Ranbu is coming. Change your profile picture to a Ranbu cult before he comes. This isn't a drill, so pin this to claim the cult. Can you please crop the pride ally for Ranbu cult? It keeps saying image is too small. Sap in, well, what, what? I don't know how these communities even form. I feel like the creator is, has like nothing to do with this, right? There's no way like Dream or George or Ranbu or all these people foster this type of a community, right? Does this just naturally form? I don't how does this happen? Like, why are people this nuts? Does anybody know a disorder that I could self-diagnose so that it isn't too weird, but lets me say slurs? This is pretty much peak internet, bro, pretending to have a disorder just because you want to say a slur. Anyone with goals and a dream job and their whole life planned out is an NPC. All right, you lost me there, but okay, you can keep going. The game makers programmed your storyline, girl. You didn't choose 15 years of med school. Who the frick would choose that? If you're just winging the shit like me, then that's what's up. We're the real players. Which side mission are you on right now? I'm on embroidery. I'm bad at it. Random girl thinks that she's in a video game and everybody's an NPC besides her. I feel like if anybody's an NPC, it's people on TikTok, right? How is someone with their entire life planned out an NPC? Wouldn't that be the opposite of an NPC? NPC means non-playable character, some AI, you know, some, some hollow husk of a human being who's always on on autopilot not thinking about life at all how about you take the side quest and gain some brain cells moron i'm fine with you females watching naruto but don't think you'll ever understand sasuke's true pain like us boys do that's right only males can watch naruto baby tiktok is like extremely efficient at ruining every anime you like by the way as a person who's watched naruto being a boy has nothing to do with sasuke's pain at all i hate having a piss mm. okay then okay whenever i want to piss i hold it for hours even though it hurts and taste my pee a bit i hate my life so much like can i have a normal life yeah dude i i, I just reset straight up <laughs> like no <laughs> gaslight gatekeep girl boss what does that even mean? Biblical reference. Thank you, I am Kabuto's whore. Everyone deserves human rights, not you though. You dropped your crown. Let's keep it there. You really spoke your mind. Never do it again. This is a classic passive aggressive way girls talk on the internet. Just a bunch of flowery lovey emojis and then they say you should have never been born. Okay, we got a four parter here. Uh, what's y'all favorite line to hurt a boy's feelings? I should have listened to my friends. Aw, oh, that's so mean. 
adds to favorites. No line, just keep him guessing. Well, now they were right about you. You're acting like I can't replace you. Stay on FaceTime with them all day, then post, today was boring. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you act like that's affecting me. Your homies will always answer if you won't. You deserve better, and I'm not gonna become better for someone I don't want. You aren't tall enough to act like this. Jesus, these girls are ruthless, man. No man should control the TV remote anyways. Anything. Simp? Y'all think this right? Of course. Great, now cough inside my mouth and throw up but let me drink it. I'm not even gonna attempt to decipher what the f I just read. If your mom's phone number was how rich you are, how much money would you have? I would have 800 million, 273 thousand, and 8,255 dollars. Pick up the phone, that's the, uh electric bathtub hotline oh what is the weirdest thing that you've jacked off to you uh among us rule 34 okay i'm ashamed to say it but among us rule i swear to god if any of you have ever done that you are just banned from my channel forever there's a limit to humanity that i can endure on my channel okay well you can call me sus pegasus megasus whatever the heck you want but among us r34 no dude just get out hey guys my mom's dead Lol. Deepest pong surface slash depth ratio. Nice place to hide a body. I don't know why this one's bad. Uh, apparently this guy does not look like a chat. I feel like he's a chat. If he's owning it, he's a chat, okay? My mom said I can't spend all my birthday money on dream merch. It's literally only because I'm dream gender, angry, angry. She also misgendered me today. My pronouns are emoji. Your pronouns are an emoji. How's someone supposed to say it verbally? Tooth Fairy and Mom. This has got to be satire, man. There's no way. I think I've seen this one before. Aw, this is so cute. Sends a SWAT team to your exact address. This joke isn't funny. I struggle with extreme paranoia. Please be mindful of the things you comment. I am living in your walls. JoJo's Bizarre Content. Let's go. Wait, but Jimbo's two years old. And... Ayo, even better. Does it matter? Age is just a number. Just like 911. Are, are they crushing on a two year old, bro? What's the weirdest thing you've jacked off to? Her house on Google Maps. My guy, you are astronomically down bad. Her house, dude, really? I was just on the hub and I accidentally switched to TikTok and this video came up and I moved weirdly and busted on you. <laughs> That's my. <laughs> That's my bad, bro. I'm crying so hard right now. I'm not even joking. It was like dead center of your face. I'm genuinely sorry. If you were sorry, you probably wouldn't comment this and tell this guy. What the heck is wrong with you, man? Sort your tabs out. POV, you spent $50 on the Jake Paul fight. Someone said, I watched it illegally and still want a refund. Yeah, that's pretty much. Honestly, I don't even blame them. When mom asks to use your computer, then she types child into Google and it's all over. What? Oh. Oh, oh my god, you people are so messed up. I asked my teacher for a blood break at school during class today. She gave me a sanitary pad and I was like, no, a blood break so I can go drink my blood pouch. I'm not on my period, you dumb bee. I'm a vampire, we don't get periods. Morals being oblivious amuses me. How many goddamn female vampires are there on TikTok, dude? Well, I learned a lot today that vampires exist and they're all on TikTok. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna end this episode off here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Smash the like button if you did, subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Stay away from TikTok and don't become insane. Thank you, bye bye.